But I would, I would very much say that you, you should study what socialism actually. I know what it's sold as. I know what they bill it as, right? When like, I know what the bill says it's going to be imag- amazing. People are going to have power. You got to check in with the Venezuelans, maybe as a starting point. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, I'm checking out Charles Kirk for his naive socialist students. Guys, let's get straight into this. Uh, so first thing I like to mention is that my mother and father wanted me to say hello for them because they couldn't be here and they're big fans of you. <laughs> Hi, mom but, and dad. Yeah. But I'm the socialist they raised, uh, so I would like to ask you a question in opposition. Um, I was like, so what do you say? I, I, so I'm the socialist they raised, so I'm saying I'm, I'm asking a question in opposition. Um, and that yeah, no worries. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. Thank you. Uh, I said, how can we rel- have relativized a love for America when we have a long history of being anti-democratic overseas, being involved in, in coups in Chile, Guatemala, that have been supported by both democratic and Republican institutions? Hold on. I am just just to be clear. Yeah. Thank you. I could tell you're a little nervous, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to restate the question. The question for but you. thank you for and, being I'm glad here. Glad you're here. Did he say uh, how can we? He said, "How can we maintain love for America because of our anti-democratic foreign policy, in particular supporting coups in Chile, Latin America, around the world?" Did I summarize that pretty well? Yeah. yeah. More, yeah that's I think this kind of ties back into the last answer that we just gave because that does not represent America. That re- represents crooked politicians that are in D.C. That has us in endless wars. <laughs> staging coups because politicians are corrupt in D.C. And I, I, it is very difficult for people to differentiate you know, what we're talking about here. Something has gone terribly wrong in America. That is a fact. This is, not the, this is not the America that your grandparents grew up in. That is a fact. Something happened with these globalist initiatives, them recognizing sometime after 9-11 that they can keep us in endless wars and keep sending trillions of dollars, sending our sons and daughters to go overseas. And let me be very clear. When I criticize this, we are not at all criticizing the people that went overseas and believed right. in our country and believed in our values and never could have fathomed that our government could be this crooked, this awful, this backwards, and doing this all for profit. But that is a circumstance. We didn't pull out of Afghanistan because Biden cares about your sons and daughters. We pulled out of Afghanistan, in my personal opinion, because they have an incredible resource. Um, uh, what's the one for in, in batteries? Not uranium. Um, Lithium, yeah, one of the yeah, and they need for and, and they're going to mine it, and this is why they're pushing all of this ESG agenda. Uh, it is so much more Machiavellian, like I said, and I don't find your sentiment, what you're talking about, to be socialist at all. By the way, the question that you asked, at least, it's a major problem, and the only way that we're going to fix it is to disempower people in D.C. And that is something that people on the left and the right should be agreeing and coming together on. So, can can I just ask you a quick question? So, you're a socialist that is worried about some government activity, do you trust the government? Not at all, no. Then why are you a socialist? Um, well, because, no, because I understand, I understand socialism not as that. I don't understand socialism as being pro... I, 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 don't, I distrust hierarchies, right? And I think that a, a socialist, what they want is, is that the, they want more democracy. You want the people to be the ones in power. You want, you want the, it, now they do say the dictatorship of- Guys, guys, be nice, because he, he, he really, you know, he's trying to understand it. No, what I would, yeah. I would very much say that you, you should study what socialism actually, I know what it's sold as, I know what they bill it as, right? When like, I know what the bill says it's going to be imag- amazing, people are going to have power. You got to check in with the Venezuelans, maybe as a starting point. Check in with the Cubans who believed in Fidel Castro. Check in over the last 100 years, how many people have died because they sold them a narrative. And what really happened was the government then seized all the power from the people, promised they would redistribute it, but it is what happened. The average Venezuelan yeah. citizen has lost something like 23 pounds. It kills every single time. So you're probably someone that has a really big heart and you actually believe that the government has too much power and so you believe it when people like AOC say, we're going to fight and we're going to return power to the people. That's not what they're going to do. What she's doing is she's fighting for government to grow until it becomes so insurmountable that you are rendered powerless and the individual is rendered powerless. That's what socialism actually is, not what it's billed as. But thank you so much for your thank question. You. I really it. appreciate you being here. Guys, it was an amazing talk. Like, I honestly believe that Kanye Zomani is a very smart person, first of all. I just needed to put that out there. But to be honest, do you trust the government? Like, there's a question to you right now. Do you trust the government? I honestly don't. I feel government abuse resources. Help friends and family. But, like, see, the reason why I can't really judge is that if you were there, I, I honestly believe that most of us would do the same. If not the same, though, but, like, most of them abuse it like they abuse the power and it's heartbreaking and you see people who start living life without a conscience it's just it's heartbreaking i would say but me to be honest i honestly believe that america is a great country for the fact that some people who ruled it 
really do not do well at their job does not mean the country is bad. Like I feel leaders are bad does not mean the country is bad. Or you might see some awful citizens does not mean the country is bad. Like what Americans stand for, I honestly believe that it's actually amazing. I actually love a country that was brought up in Christianity. I, I feel America is a country that I brought up in like the word of God. And I, I don't know what it's talking to now, but like let's remember the past and the present so we can judge them together. I honestly believe America is a beautiful country, wanna be honest. Like fuck. I, I won't say that. But guys, stay waiting about this video. Just like share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. First.